All right, today we're gonna to talk about YouTube handles. There's a lot of buzz about them. They're rolling it out. It's not showing up for some people, it is for others. So let's talk about it. Just before I get started, you'll notice that there is no uh, narrator inset, picture in picture kind of a thing going on. That's because right now my office looks like a tornado went through it. You guys know I've been making changes to my YouTube studio and I just kind of got to a place I liked it, but then I got offered this free fancy desk. Now I've got desk parts stacked everywhere. <laughs> It'll be a video or two before uh, you're gonna get to see my ugly face again. You've seen uh, a few channels talking about these uh, YouTube handles. And you may have gotten a letter that looks kind of like this. I got this little email here the other day. This is just a snapshot of it. And they're explaining exactly what YouTube handles are. So basically all it is, it's, it's, a, it's kind of a replacement to traditional channel names. And before you to get an actual custom URL, you had to have 100 subscribers or more. And uh, this will actually work for anyone, even if you've only got five subscribers. Uh, there's a, f a number of reasons they're doing doing this handles uh, operation here, and that's that's mainly uh, to deal with all these spammers and and people cloning channel names and just wreaking all kinds of havoc. And I, I personally think this is a really good solution. So in the future, instead of putting in youtube.com slash and then your custom URL name or this really long number, in this case, you're gonna get just an at sign that you can go right after the slash at youtube.com. So uh, right now I can, I can actually type in fuzzy tutorials and you'll see it comes up with the same thing. But now instead of having to do this, you'll be able to put in at and then whatever your handle is. Now, if you've already got a custom URL like this, uh, you'll actually have a uh, handle assigned to you that matches that name as long as nobody else has it. If somebody else is trying to use the same thing, uh, then they're gonna go with who's been around the longest, and then you might have to pick another one. So when you first get this email, the first one that comes is just saying that they're gonna be rolling it out. So if you look right here, it says, we're gradually rolling out the ability to choose a handle, blah, blah, blah. So if you need to read that, you can just pause it and read it. You've probably already gotten this email actually. So if you click on that learn more down there, you're going to get taken to this. Now this actually isn't for my fuzzy tutorial channel. It's for another channel, but this is basically what you're going to see. And then it'll get have a little video explaining what handles are and goes through some other information. The difference is when you actually have the next email, it's gonna look something like this. Now this isn't one of my channels, this is a channel I manage for a client. So he got this second email, it says choose handle. So when he clicked that, then he was brought here. And you'll notice that the handle's already been assigned. So now he already had a channel designation, so he could put in slash loves all cars by itself. But now he's got the handle, it's already been given to him. He can change it if he wants and then that will release it to somebody else. But uh, he's keeping it, obviously. And now if you wanna change the handle, you can click on that and that'll take you in to a little window like that. So you can either confirm the selection or you can go in here and you can type in a new one. But we're just gonna cancel. Now there is a way to get into this manually. If you go into your uh, actual channel, so display your channel, and then I'm gonna go customize channel, and then I'm gonna to go to basic info, 
Okay, so this is where you put in your description and your channel. This is where your custom URL stuff is uh, traditionally, the older style. If I go and look at Love's Loud Cars, you'll see we're on the same page, basic info, and right at the top before even the description shows up. Here you can put in uh, the name that you want. It'll already be loaded with the name that they've pre-assigned you. But here you can change it to something else. But it will have to be unique. That's that's the whole beauty of this new system is that nobody else can duplicate your channel name or your username. And then you can use this with communication across the board. So uh, you can have this as a contacting your creators. If you leave messages on other channels, uh, this will be what it shows as you, as your contact. So it's a pretty clean system. I think this is going to work out really well. So all you would do is you could go in and you would change what you want it to and then you would hit publish and then it'll at that point it'll chunk away and tell you if if you can have the one that you're asking for or not or you can just accept that one so that's if you wanted to get in there manually now we're going to take a look at doing this on the phone as well because i have uh, you know quite a few people out there nowadays that are using their mobile phones for running everything on their channel so you can do it here too okay so once again uh, you're going to uh, go to your channel. So that's going to bring you into that. And then you'll, there's a little pencil over here on the right. I'll circle it for you so you can see it. So we just tap that pencil. And now you'll see we basically got some of the same information that we had on the web page. And you'll see that there's nothing in here talking about handles. So now we'll go to my client's channel and you can see what it looks like there is okay, so once again I'll go into your channel and then I'll click on the little pencil and there you can see we've got the channel name up top and then we've got our handle and then the channel URL okay so you can go in you can just hit the little pencil and you can change that and if you don't have one and one hasn't been assigned you probably are not going to see any of this stuff at the top anyway. It's pretty basic. It's pretty simple once you know the trick. And I think this is going to be a great thing for all of us. So I've got uh, a couple of quick videos I'm going to be doing in, in the next little bit. They're going to probably be kind of similar, talking about new stuff that's rolling out on YouTube or some other fairly simple things. I've got to get my office set up again properly before I can start doing more in-depth DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So I might do another uh, Mac OS tutorial of some kind, maybe some more uh, graphic stuff. So just keep an eye out and I should have something else for you pretty quickly. If you found this video useful, uh, please take a moment and hit that like button. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, that really helps us out. And then click that notification bell so you don't miss anything on the future videos coming up. Well, thanks for hanging out with us today, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.